Hey guys, I'm Stephen John Phillips and welcome to class. Uh, I just wanted to give you kind of a little heads up, tell you a little bit about what the class was about, show you a few things, and make sure everybody was kind of getting, uh, getting ready to go. Um, I first want to read you um, exactly what in fact the class is about. Um, this is from the course description. In this course, students will be introduced to the basic concepts and principles of lighting for photography. The course will cover the fundamentals of recognizing and controlling both natural and studio lighting with emphasis on the quality, quantity, and direction and their effect on the photographic image. So basically, this class is about light. One of my favorite quotes of what use is lens and light for those who lack in mind and sight. And what is that all about? Well, basically that means that you can do just about anything you want to if you can imagine it. Um, it isn't about the equipment. You want to know the technique, but you want to have the imagination. I really want people to look at light in this class. We're going to look at, at morning light, afternoon light, studio light. We're going to look at everything you can imagine on lighting. And that's what this class is all about. Um, I am basically kind of a hybrid. Um, I'm a fine art photographer that also does um, commercial work and photo illustration. Um, I want to show you a few things so you kind of have an idea of what I do. Um, again, I get a lot of work for beauty imagery, um, also illustration. Um, most of my work is in fact shot in the studio. Um, again, these are some beauty images. I guess you can get a decent view of these. Um, You can see my work, probably one of the best places to see it would be on my website. If you're interested, it's stephenjohnphillips.com. It's really simple, just my whole name, www.stephenjohnphillips.com. Again, this is again some more of my beauty stuff. I'm also kind of, um, as I said, a photo illustrator. I do a lot in the comic book industry. So I've got a number of graphic novels out. Here's one. Most of them are with DC Comics. Um, this one is called Bales. It's all about the um, Ottoman Empire and sultans and harems. Um, and again, this is all shot in the studio and then it was basically composited in Photoshop um, because they didn't have the money to send me um, to Turkey, um, which is okay. I would like to have gone, but here's one that I did that's called In the Shadow of Edgar Allan Poe. And this is a graphic novel, again, that um, is all shot in the studio and composited. Again, completely photographic. Okay. Um, another one I did that is called I Paparazzi. And this one was all about paparazzi photographers. Um, it has kind of a sci-fi vibe going on as well. Um, I do a lot of commercial work uh, as well. Again, these are a few um, sort of fashion, let's see, where we can get a good view of these, a little bit of fashion portraiture. Um, um, here's a, another comic book cover. This one was called Caroscuro. It was about um, Leonardo da Vinci. Um, I want you guys to really look at reference. Go to Barnes & Noble, um, go to places that have European magazines, look, look, look at what's going on. Um, the comic book store, um, the CD store, some of the most interesting stuff that's going on right now is there. Um, again, this one is called Vertigo Visions. This again is DC Comics. And this one has everything from heavy-duty Photoshop to straight illustration in it. So take a look at some of that material. I want to make sure that you look for unusual photography magazines. This one is French Photo. Um, this is a, we have the American, American Photo or Photo Magazine. But this is the French counterpart. And the French counterpart has some really, really interesting images in it 
that you just would not see in the United States. This is available at Barnes & Noble. Um, they don't always have it, but most of the time they do. Look at some alternative publications. Look at publications like um, Juxtapose. Juxtapose does everything from hot rod to tattoo art, but it always has some really innovative photography stuff. This is pinhole camera. Some of you guys may have remembered making pinhole cameras. This one was actually made from a skull. Um, look at the intricacies of some of these cameras. I mean, this one was done in a metal shop. Amazing pieces. Again, you're not going to see these things in a lot of um, American publications. Here again is some more of my work. Um, a lot of studio stuff. I build a lot of sets, paint a lot of backdrops, um, create large scale sort of um, panorama environments in my pictures. Um, here's a book called Digital Art Revolution that is pretty recent. I've got a number of pieces. There's a piece here. Um, here's one of mine with this figure coming out of the egg. Um, there's a nice Mark Mothersbach image in here as well. This is actually the guy that was in Devo, if anybody remembers the band. This is some of his artwork. He also was responsible for Rugrats, um, if some of you guys remember that. Um, again, I, I do a lot of commercial stuff as well. Here's a photo illustration I did on the effects uh, diagnosis and treatment for migraine. Um, that was a medical piece. Um, here is a piece I did for Simpson Racing. Um, they make a lot of the uh, restraints and safety devices for racing and whatnot. Um, so as you guys can see, I do a lot of fine art, but I also do a lot of commercial work as well. So look, this is a fun class. It should be a lot of fun. You guys can work in all different kinds of lighting situations. You can set up some home studio, which we'll talk about. I have some other, I teach some other classes that are just studio photography, but I'm going to have a number of these videos that if you want to watch some of those as well. I just think it's important that you guys see me and know that I'm like a real person and whatnot. So I hope everybody's raring to go here. Um, we're almost ready. We're going to start on Thursday. Um, make sure that you look through the class, um, you know, answer some of the questions in the please read and respond, make sure that everybody's got their equipment, and I guess we're about set. So I just wanted to say hi and welcome, and I will see everybody on Thursday. Okay, bye-bye.